It's in the relationship that God gets a hold of us. It's in that, that place where we go alone with God in daily interaction that he molds us and he shapes us and he convicts us and he encourages us and he refines us and he transforms us. It all happens within the context of that relationship. If you want to be transformed, you are going to have to find a way to get alone with God. And you're going to have to get to a place that you develop where you meet with God, where you interact with God, where you hear from him and where you pour your heart out to him, where you hear from his word, it speaks to you and you sense his presence in the spirit and you apply his word and say, Lord, that applies to me and I'm going to do this about it. I'm going to respond. That's the place that we have got to get. The reason for us getting alone with God is to purposefully meet with the Lord in such a way that his word and his spirit will noticeably transform our lives. That's what we want. I pray that's what you're coming to church for because you realize, wait a minute, that life of death and darkness, that's a life of death and darkness. I want a life of light and life. I want to turn my back on the life of death and turn my face towards God. I want to spend time with God in such a purposeful way that his word and his spirit will noticeably transform me, that I will actually be changed, not just for eternity, but for today. We've got to get alone with God, setting aside a, setting aside a routine time and a place and a plan to meet God, to meet God in his word, in prayer, and being led by the Holy Spirit, to interact with God instead of interacting with the screens of the world. It's a place where we say, I've fed the flesh enough. It's time to feed the spirit. It's time to get to a place where I can feed on God, where I can commune with him. It's a time where we experience a relationship that we know God is with us. We sense him with us. We interact with his word. It's a two-way interaction and we respond to what he says to us. That's it right there. If we can develop that, if we can learn that in our lives, it is supernaturally, radically transforming. You know it is. What's it take to get there? You have to fight. That's what it takes. It takes a fight. It's a battle. You have to fight. You know you have to fight to get time alone with God. The only way you can get time alone with God is to say no to something else. As you develop this time alone with God and learn how what to do during that time, he'll transform you and your life will change and change more into the image of Christ.